Hello, this is Kelly from Root Pursuit. Hi, everybody. Uh, so I just wanted to give everyone an update on what's happening. I just got my biopsy two days ago, uh, and then today they finally called with the results. I don't know why I thought that I was going to get the results like on the day of the biopsy. I and then all of a sudden when I went in the, in the morning, I was like, oh yeah, <laughs> I'm going to still have to wait <laughs> for some results. So, hmm. all right. So they called me and it was kind of like, uh, more, uh, more waiting to find out <laughs> is what it, what it ends up being. So uh, he says, the good news is that we didn't find cancerous cells. The cells that we scraped in the biopsy were benign. He said, but that doesn't necessarily mean that there aren't cancerous or precancerous cells in there. So it was kind of like, okay, what does that mean? And then they said that I had, uh, well, the end result is that they're recommending surgery to have all of the shenanigans going on in there removed. And that'll be in like four weeks. So they diagnosed me with like papillomas, papillomas. And what that is, is like a duct cysts, basically, or tumors is essentially what it is. And then the, uh, and then uh, fibros fibrocystic disease. So basically they're saying, you know, there's some issues going on with ducts and cysts and a lot of that stuff and not necessarily kind of cancerous, but can be, if there's multiple papillomas, then that can be a risk factor for cancer and precancerous cells. So they're just like, we just, we just recommend removing it. So that's good, I guess. And it sort of leads me into a thing of, okay, so when they open me up, you know, what happens then? Do they find something else? I don't know. I feel like I'm still a little bit in a, in a, I, I'm, I thought today I would be done, you know, <laughs> kind of like, okay, now we're all done. And it's, it's, it's not, that's not the case. We're just on a little path to, uh, getting it taken care of. So I guess that's best case scenario. So that's kind of where my mind's at right now. It's just sort of processing it and figuring out, uh, and I'm just, you know, one thing I'm, I keep kind of playing over in my mind is how tired I am lately and how much more sleep I need than I ever used to need and how I need naps every day. And I mean, I'm sleeping like, I don't know, I sleep like 10 to 12 hours at night. And then I sleep like sometimes three hours in the afternoon. And that's been going on since like January. And I don't, I don't get that much stuff done when I'm sleeping that much. So it's a little frustrating. I mean, I have some days where I don't sleep that much, but the majority of the time I'm, I'm definitely averaging 12, 13, 12, 13 hours of sleep, which seems really excessive. I don't know what other people, what kind of sleep people need in their forties. I mean, I used to, you know, kind of live on seven, eight hours when I was younger. Um, I was never, I, I did go through phases where I had insomnia, where I would sleep like two hours. Um, but that for like a couple weeks on it and then, but that was only temporary. And, but I mean, for the most part, I was pretty good sleeper. So I just don't know how many, how many hours do you guys sleep <laughs> in a day? And I'd be curious to know. Uh, I never really, I don't really ask people usually like how much sleep they <laughs> you know, that's not a typical conversation, I guess. So that's kind of where I'm at and where my head's at. And yeah, I'm just, I guess, just moving forward and take her easy the next month, I guess. The biopsy wasn't that bad. I mean, it's a little uncomfortable. I got a little like nauseous. It's like there's no pain in that area for, for after the procedure. 
but you know there's like trauma there and it's like my body still needs to heal it so it's kind of like oh I'm feeling okay and then all of a sudden I'm not feeling good <laughs> I'm not feeling good but it's not like sharp pain like I had I know and I'm I feel like every couple of years I've been having to have some kind of surgery I had um I, well first I broke my I broke my thumb and I broke it bad so I have like a giant pin in my in the main knuckle of my thumb and then I had to have gallbladder surgery and then after like two years after that I had to have my neck surgery and now here I am two years later and I have to have uh, breast surgery so and they're all like totally un you know like every area of the body <laughs> is failing that's 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 where I'm at today hmm all right well I'm hoping to follow this up with some other videos anyway this is my update um I know everyone's kind of curious I was I know people were asking me please let me know what's going on and everything so here it is here's my update <laughs> and I guess here we go on this little adventure in life so and here you can get a little ooh, craft room view of how messy things are going in here that's the other thing it's like I wanted to do a craft room tour and it's just it's messy it's very messy I just want to have more energy to do it <laughs> ah and thanks everybody for the well wishes I almost forgot ah uh yeah I I try to respond to everyone individually if I missed anyone I'm sorry but I did really try to respond to everyone who sent me all of the the prayers and positive thinking and everything and I just I really appreciate it it just it, it was really really kind and you know surprising how many people kind of reached out to me I even got some happy mail and it really did make me happy <laughs> all right well as always Thanks for coming along and I'll talk to you later.